Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the Way What You Can Do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today we will be watching Web API benchmarking Rust Axum vs Rust Hyper. So uh, this uh, don't to me, uh, this benchmark don't to me when uh, after I converted a service that I am maintaining uh, in which I used to use Axum, which is the framework, the Rust framework uh, of my choice, if I decide to pick a framework currently. Uh, VS a pure hyper implementation of the web API. And as I said, this done to me when I converted the service that I maintain from Axum to straight hyper, so no framework. <clears throat> and I decided to do that because I didn't have any complicated uh, logic or, uh, you know, having to maintain multiple routes, etc. Uh, but uh, apart from that, another thought of mine is that even though you may have to maintain uh, a substantial amount of routes, etc., maybe it would be a good choice to go with pure hyper instead of using a framework if you are uh, willing to you know to write some more code to handle the um, the middlewares yourself etc but i think it is a vial a viable option uh, if you want to put uh, you know some extra effort in it instead of relying on uh, the existing frameworks. <coughs> Sorry, so this is uh, the introduction. Let me have some coffee too. Uh, also, it's been a while since my last video, but you know, I have been busy. So, yeah, sorry for that. But anyway, after the introduction, let's have, uh, have, have a, a look in the source code for the two uh, APIs that we will be checking. <clears throat> this is the Axum. As you can see here, this is the Axum API. And uh, this is our main function. I build a runtime and optimize the runtime. I do not uh, depend on the Tokyo <coughs> uh, macro to create my runtime. Uh, so I create the worker threads that I want, etc. But anyway, the, <coughs> the crux of the application is here. We define two routes, the, the root route and the API users. And we listen, we bind and we listen. And this is uh, our user's route. And what we do is we create a vector <coughs> uh, that will hold 1,000 uh, users. And we just populate the vector and we return a JSON response. So this is uh, the web API, the action web API. And let's have a look at the Hyper API. Again, we build, this is our main function. We build the same runtime, as you can see. And here we, again, we bind to a socket and we start listening here in this loop, as you can see. And uh, this is our uh, handler, our root handler. Let's check the root handler. Uh, if is if it is the root um, the root route, we just uh, return this response index HTML, and this is what we care about. As you can see, <coughs> this is our API users route. Again, we create a vector uh, that can hold 1,000 users. We populate the vector. And then we return again a JSON response. So the same thing exactly. So let's put them to the test. Here I have uh, this API already running. We can check it in the browser. So if we come here, <coughs> this is the Axum uh, API. This is the Hyper API. Currently, it is not running. We are running just 
the action API. Okay, again running. So let's start benchmarking. So the first thing that we will run is uh, we will run 100,000 requests here and we will use OHA. We will warm up the system here and then we will benchmark. So let me prepare also the system monitor. We are here and we are starting. So API Axum memory four. Let me. Oh, we we are done. Phew. Four megabytes. Uh, let me rerun this because it was too quick. Uh, CPU fifty percent. Fifty one percent. Okay. Let's say fifty percent. Okay, we have the OHA result. Let's stop this and let's run the Hyper Web API. Let's go in the browser. Here, this works and this doesn't work. So we have our Hyper API. So let's come here. Let's prepare this. Uh, here. So we want hyper OHA. Again, 100,000 requests. We will warm up the system here. And then we will execute. So 50%, 8.6 megabytes, 9 megabytes, 50%. 50% and let's say 9 megabytes. <coughs> I am putting down the numbers and I will include them in the video description. So now let's compare. <coughs> Success 1, 1, total 6.8 seconds, total 5.4 seconds slowest 0 0.2 0 0.146 hyper is better fastest 0 0.0005 0 0.004 uh, hyper is better uh, average 68.55 hyper is better requests per second 14,600 18,240 so hyper is better <coughs> total data more data here size per request uh, bigger request maybe because the data the hyper string that we return is uh, bigger than axum if you see the response here let me demonstrate here this is hyper here and it is action for the other web API so this is bigger let's go again here um, <clears throat> response the majority for hyper is here 0 0.006 the majority for action is here 0 0.0.007 so hyper is better <coughs> overall as you can see latency again the latency as you can see for all percentages is smaller for hyper so overall uh, better latency for hyper smaller latency and we have 10 uh, 100,000 responses with 200 and the same for hyper so hyper is better as you can see so let me put the numbers down. Copy. This is action. 
and this is hyper copy hyper oha we saw that hyper was using more memory which is strange um, <coughs> axum was using approximately 4 megabytes of memory and hyper was using approximately 9 megabytes of memory of course both of these sizes are uh, very small <coughs> I'm checking my notes here so this is uh, Axum Oha and we were using about 4 megabytes of memory and here we were using 9 megabytes of memory I would expect um, Hyper to use less memory because we don't have the overhead of the framework but who knows maybe it's something interesting to look into but okay for now 9 megabytes I think is a a good number to go okay so let's uh, kill this let's run this and uh, let's run now our WRK benchmark so Uh, this is the port, uh, this is the Axum uh, localhost 3000. Again, we will warm up the system here and then we will execute this uh, here with the warm up system. <coughs> Let me prepare the system monitor to have an overview and let's bench. So, this is our threads, our uh, course. So, CPU about 50 and memory 6.1. So, 6 megabytes. Okay, we are done. Okay. Well, these are the results. Let's put them down. Copy. Okay. Let's kill this. Let's start this. And let's prepare this. <coughs> and Port uh, 3001 for the Hyper, as you can see here. Uh, duration 30, again we warm up the system, we are good to go. <coughs> Let's check. CPU 52, 50%. Memory. 5.4 let's say 5.5 megabytes the CPU utilization is interestingly low for all frameworks and the memory was 5.5 we will say and let's compare let me get these results copy let's compare uh, 30 seconds uh, thread stats latency average 5.49 4.37 uh, smaller latency for hyper request per second 293 368 better for hyper uh, total requests 525,000 here in 30 seconds. Here we have 600,000. You see the number 
uh, 5.1. So we have almost uh, 150,000 more during this 30 second span. Requires per second uh, 17,500, 21,995. So again, we have a substantial difference here. Transfer per second, you see the numbers. <coughs> so Hyper, <coughs> again, as you can see, Hyper again is uh, substantially faster, I would say. We have here some errors, as you can see. For the WRK test. Error 7 connection kind not connected. Transport endpoint is not connected. <coughs> I don't know exactly what this is. Uh, if we check our error serving connection. So we had some errors here, as you can see. Maybe this is something to look into. But uh, re regarding the um, stats, as you can see, Hyper is substantially faster. And as I said earlier, I am quite tempted in uh, using a pure Hyper implementation for my web APIs, especially if if they are not, you know, very demanding in order of middlewares, etc. So that might, in the context, let's say, of microservices, if you have a small microservice that, uh, you know, has a single or two endpoints, etc., and it does very specific things, why not go with full hyper instead of using a Rust framework and having, you know, the framework's overhead on top of your API. So this was the video. I uh, hope uh, you like it and uh, I hope you find it useful for your future Rust endeavors. Till next time, have a very nice day.